Hello, um, my name is Michael, Mike, uh, and I'm the user Monster67 on uh, the B4X forum. Uh, I wanted to do a tutorial for um, B4X developers, but uh, those who have experience in wrapping libraries. So this video maybe is not for any beginner or for those who want to simply code in uh, B4X. This is meant more for uh, those developers who wrap Java libraries. Uh, lately, since uh, Android supports uh, Kotlin, there are now many libraries available uh, written Kotlin but uh, it's not very clear maybe how to wrap these libraries and make them available for B4A or even B4J and uh, in the last days I've been experimenting a little bit and uh, I think I found a way uh, in which uh, which permits us to use uh, without any problems uh, libraries written in Kotlin or even just taking some Kotlin classes and making uh, a wrapper library for them so we can use them in B4A and uh, this is the reason why I'm making this video which will be in three parts there will be an introduction and then uh, another video who will show you how we take some cutting classes uh, we make a, a library package of them and then we wrap this uh, package and then we use it in B4A and finally I will also wrap an already existing cotton library I found and hopefully this will help a little bit to for other developers who like to wrap also Kotlin uh, libraries. I think we will see more of them in the future. Uh, so as I said, this is more for more experienced developers. Um, first of all, I'm not a native speaker of English, as you can hear, but hopefully you will understand me and I have no experience at all in recording videos so it's not very professional like those ones you can see on YouTube or even uh, the one Ariel, Ariel is making uh, I'll be also speaking with a low vo voice because my wife is already sleeping so I cannot sp speak too loudly yeah. <coughs> Uh, just one thing as to before I finish this introduction um, let me see here okay um, normally we use SLC which is a simple library compiler written by Errol and uh, since you already know how to wrap uh, Java libraries you know how it's structured but the thing is that you cannot simply put in Kotlin classes therein so it won't compile uh, maybe one day uh, Errol is able to add some features so this can be done in the, in the future just like Android Studio so the thing is uh, to overcome this problem uh, the thing is that we actually need to create packages jar which is for instance a package of bytecode and also the new one AAR which is created by Android Studio so what happened is that uh, we take Kotlin code and they compile into bytecode and then we use the resulting packages normally AAR the thing is you can also mix Java and Kotlin because the bytecode is the same and we can all use them here uh, okay so for instance um, sorry 
for instance the Android Arsenal is a huge site where you can find a lot of libraries for um, Android most of them are written in Java but many of them are now written also in Kotlin and you can find them on the pages here and the same goes of course for uh, github here I just made this research for uh, Kotlin libraries and I've all found 436 one of course not all of them are usable for B4A but some of them are and I think they will increase in the future but you can just look at the Android project with Kotlin code there are nearly 6,000 600 repositories so as you can see Kotlin is growing <coughs> that said uh, as I told you before the idea with this uh, kind of tutorials is that we will um, make uh, two projects two wrappers the first one will wrap this system information project which is written in Kotlin and it will simply take information f regarding the device some screen information some system information libraries which is already available on the forum but uh, this could be good as a project to use as an exercise and uh, just to show you this project is composed of uh, four classes in Kotlin the KT suffix stands for Kotlin of course that's the main activity which we're not interested in but we're interested in three, these three classes so we will be importing them into an understudio project and then we will make a library a package of it which we will then wrap in another uh, project and there will be also uh, be another video where we will be actually wrapping a library which is written in Kotlin and uh, it's called simple rating bar and it's one of those ones where you can uh, rate an app by indicating how many stars and so on I'm sure this library this kind of library is available on the forum already so when we are wrapping this one uh, we just do it partially just so you can see how we can do it and now we can use some already existing code from github to do it okay see you in the next video